Okay, we gotta have a meeting right now. I want you, everyone, including Da Vinci, to be here right now. Da Vinci, who the heck is this? She's a newborn homunculus director and is in a lot of trouble. Yeah. Whatever. I caught her walking about without any security clearance into every room of the base. And even apparently she blew a hole in the wall. <sighs> well, it kind of goes like this, Musaki. Pasakan is a new form of life that PT worked on, and she's a new type of homunculus. PT? Alright, continue. And since she's a new type of homunculus, her cognitive functions aren't fully developed yet. Understandable. So she isn't fully aware of everything around her, and most likely is just being curious. Therefore... She's like a child. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard! I imagine P.T. wanted her first experience to be authentic. Kuda, Kuda, why me? I'm sure he can answer that for us. P.T., you're needed in the director's office. P.T. to the director's office. Oh no, what did I do this time? This is your little pet project, isn't she? Why did you let her run around without clearance or even informing me? Alright, look. First off, I hacked your clearance. Second, I was working on it. And third, I was taking a short break, and I stepped out of the room, and I come back, and she's gone. I'm pretty sure you knew exactly what you were doing, PT. Hey, so you'd be surprised at how many people hand me random crap on a daily basis and expect me to know exactly what to do with it. They don't ask, they just hand it to me. It's like, well, PT's got this, and it's like, do I? Do I got this? No one ever asks. Anyway, in this case, it's Nell's pet project. I was just volunteered for it. <sighs> Where's Nell? Am I here, Director? I just finished making a new Mystic Code for our project in the shape of a school backpack. You see, when it's connected to- Isn't that the whole Nero made at Christmas? But never mind. I forgot that none of us have used doors here. We really should, at least the point. <clears throat> so, what is going on with this unauthorized project of yours? Clearly, you would have had time to inform me of something like this. Well, I might have had time, possibly, while perusing through the blueprints, maybe. But I was more focused on the power output and the performance of the chassis that Da Vinci needed to get her functioning. <sighs> it's obvious that everyone is just trying to cover their own butts here. Da Vinci, I'm holding you responsible for this project. It was your idea to work on this... thing. What the heck were you thinking, Da Vinci? I mean, you've made more practical inventions before, so this feels a bit offbeat for you. The last time you made a robot, it tried to replace Mashu! And it gave you nightmares. I assure you, Director, this one will not attempt to replace Mashu. Isn't that right, dear? <laughs> I just wanted to take her out for a test drive before we had everything finalized. I'll make sure to clean it up later, don't worry about it too much. For God's sake, she's a hyper-advanced homunculus, Leonardo, not a goddamn Ferrari. Well, I guess the equivalent cost would be three Ferraris. Three? Hundred? How much of our budget did you use? I don't know. I guess it depends on how high the budget goes. Here, let me fix things. There, all better. Voice module, online. Audio functionality test, initialized. Designation, PASOCON. Mission, anti-servant suppression. Status, operational. Commencing tactical assessment. Servants, 1. Human masters, 3. Situation, non-hostile. Wait, hold on. You're telling me you stored her entire Operating system on a floppy disk? How do you even do that? How the hell? Why the hell do you even do that? Have you ever tried to hack a floppy disk? No, can't say I... Oh. Well, fair point, I guess. Well, that's because you're not a genius like my creator Da Vinci-chan here. Exactly. I am a genius. I don't need any more explanation than that. Musaki Hajime, Director. According to my programming, I am to ask. 
On a scale from 1 to 10, how bad was your roll for? Insert most recent failed roll here. <laughs> 1. Comfort protocol. Engaged. There, there. Your rolls are terrible, but you're still a good person. Would you like a tissue? Yeah. <laughs> Acknowledged. <laughs> Thank you. There, there. <laughs> there, there. Oh, collect those tears. We can sell those. But, uh, we helped out too, you know? Yeah, I mean, like, who else could get your power supply micronized and not be unstable? And a practical weapon system in case her magic circuits get depleted? Yes, yes, you two did fabulous work from the practical side of things. Indeed. Thank you, assistant creators. Da Vinci Chan really picked a good team to make me. She really is the best. Mm -hmm. Oh, of, of course, course she, she is. is. Best not tell her that there's a Property of Atlas logo on her butt. A what? Nothing. Thank you for watching the video, fellow masters. If you liked it, be sure to leave a like and comment. Subscribe if you want to see more, and make sure to ring the bell to be notified when we upload next. Special thanks to our sponsors and Patreons, and especially, 80A76, Adam Urinuk, Admin B, Alberio, Black Knight 21, Decaf, Devin Luca, Dragonath 1512, Freddy Gutierrez, Hifumi G, Lucky Number 5, Merlanda, Michael Lumna, Michael Potter, Navy Cherub, Project Xion, Ravenleaf, Cyphus, Spartan X425, The Voice of St. Quartz, Tristan Corey, William Myers, Yashashi Fuyu, Zamian347, and Nell Celestine. You masters are the true MVPs. Now good luck and fight hard! So, creator, how did I do? Eh, not too bad. Could still use some improvement, though. Well, so can you. Did you just... You know what? Touche. Oh, and special thanks to Rinny Chan LP for making the sprites you see for PasoCon. You really are the best. If you like her art, she's done more work on the Voice of St. Quartz's channel. She also has her own channel, where she posts speed paints, let's plays, and generally whatever she wants.